specifically the T cell response, at the very first step of the virus uh, immune activation. So by doing so, it hides from the immune system and is able to persist and, and cause lifelong infection in people. The first implication of our research is designing newer vaccines. So what we found is the envelope protein of the virus uh, has mechanisms to interfere with T-cell activation. And T-cell activation is required for vaccine response to any antigens. So what we hope is we can design novel hepatitis C vaccine antigens so that when we give it to humans, they, uh, they are better uh, uh, antigens in such that they can mount a good vaccine response. So the second implications of our research is uh, novel therapeutics against hepatitis C. So there are currently uh, available hepatitis C drugs, but these drugs have uh, significant side effects and so forth, and they don't respond to all the hepatitis C infected people. So what we hope is by exploiting how viruses hide from the human system, we can design novel uh, therapeutics so that we can better treat hepatitis C in future. The current meds, there are very, very effective meds now for uh, the majority of hep C infected people, but they're extremely expensive, $140,000 for a 12-week course of this. <clears throat> and so one of the potential implications is that by combining other treatments like our, our what we've found, you might be able to shorten the course, and, and if you can shorten that, that'd save a lot of money, of course. Um, and finally, because these are immune modulators, uh, the effects that we found <clears throat> from uh, the two mechanisms, these are potential treatments for immune-mediated diseases, and, and that's something we are investigating now, presently.